Chuck Welch bringing the pace truck down into the infield. Folks, it is time to rock, roll, and rumble here at All-American Speedway. Trevor Huddleston leads him down into one. And he's going to pick up right where he left off last Saturday night at Madera Speedway. Huddleston leads him across to complete lap one. He's got company right there the chrome horn from sean hingarani through the center of turns three and four this is the battle between the two points leaders right here hingarani your current point leader he's got a six point advantage over tyler reif and right now they're battling for position we might have seen a little, little contact there right front corner to left rear tire battle for position tyler reif after that slow start Trying to regain some of those positions. He's to the inside of Jaron Giannini. This is the battle for fifth. Giannini a little up the racetrack there, down into turn one. Rife keeping those left side tires planted down on that yellow line. He's going to retake fifth. And the left front brake rotor lighting up bright orange there on Sean Hingarani's number five. Ooh, he's going to use the pick. David Smith there. Going to try to block him in, block Jack Wood in behind the 0-5 car. It might have broken his momentum just enough for Hingarani to take over that third position. Henry Barton up the racetrack. Barton does not want to get stuck behind that 0-5. He's going to give up a couple of positions. They're going to stack it three wide. There's some contact there. Barton now side by side with Eric Johnson Jr. I see some smoke off the 0-5 car. There may be a fender in on a tire for David Smith. But again, that could be a Reese's sweet move of the race right there for Henry Barton. There's Ethan Nascimento looking to the inside of Jaron Giannini. Nascimento's car, that number 21. Another car starting to come to life here as we have passed the midway point. Cemento work at the bottom side of the racetrack. Jaron Giannini to the top side of the racetrack. Battle for sixth and seventh. Ethan Nascimento in the number 21 is going to take that sixth position. Giannini, he's going to try to pull the crossover move. Couldn't quite make it stick. He's going to give the nose, feed the nose to the inside of Sean Hingarani. He's going to pull side by side down the front stretch. Hingarani able to keep the momentum up, but Rife really digging hard down on the bottom side of the racetrack. Tyler Rife able to keep the nose of that number 13 car out front. Finally going to clear Sean Hingarani off a of turn two, or does he? Yeah, he does. He's been about two and a half seconds behind Trevor Huddleston, and he's another two and a half seconds in front of Tyler Reif. He's going to have to work his way past this gaggle of race cars, and look at that move. He's going to go from the top side to the bottom side. The three-wide sandwich down into three. Great move by Eric Nascimento. That could be a Reese's sweet move of the race nominee. Of Jack Wood in the number 16. He's got Ethan Nascimento there in the 21. Ethan's going to feed him the bumper. Move him up the racetrack a little bit. Ethan wants to get up to Jack Wood himself. He wants to battle for that fifth position. So he's going to move the leader out of the way. The only time all race long that Trevor Huddleston has been passed. And it is Ethan Nascimento putting himself back on the tail end of the lead lap. Final time for Trevor Huddleston. Not too often that you see a driver pick up the fastest lap in practice, win the general tire pole award, and park it down in victory lane, but the clean sweep in effect tonight for Trevor Huddleston, flag to flag, back-to-back -back wins for Trevor Huddleston.